Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a brand new series. I hope you guys will enjoy it. We're gonna be giving lessons. We're pairing it with the Pro BM videos where we're giving away a bowling ball or a free lesson. We figured might as well. We have Chad here. He didn't win, but we had some extra time on the clock, so we said, why not, right? If you would like this kind of opportunity, let us know in the comment section if you're gonna be in Las Vegas and maybe we'll pick you out and uh, contact you for a challenge and maybe a lesson. So I wanna preface a couple of things before we actually start the lesson. Uh, typically, when we're working on things, we wanna focus on behind the foul line stuff. So we don't want to think about where the ball is going, how many pins we're knocking down. We don't have our score up here because the score doesn't count for anything, so we don't really need it. It's just a distraction, really. Kind of a two-part thing. When you're competing, when you're bowling league, tournaments and whatnot, you want to be able to focus on things beyond the foul line. But when you're practicing, you want to work on the things that you can control, which are all the things behind the foul line. So that's what we're going to try to do today. It's called Well Better How. It's like an analysis type thing. What you do well, I like where your hand's at at the bottom. You roll pretty good pretty behind it, most people aren't, so that's, that's already one step ahead of the game. You generate a lot of ball speed, which is good as well. Typically trying to generate more ball speed is difficult than backing off. What we can do better, I'm looking at controlling your ball speed a little better. I would like to see a slide implemented, but that's a little more difficult. Probably not gonna work on that, but that'll help you control your speed easier in the future. So the second thing that we wanna work on is getting you a little more loose. Uh, I've worked with guys that hit the gym, they're on the stronger side and they tend to muscle it. More muscle leads to more inconsistencies because that, that's just another variable that's changing the direction of your swing and it'll be easier for you to get your hand under the ball. It unlocks a lot of different things. So how we're gonna do that is, ball speed wise, it's gotta be with the feet. Really the only way, if you do it with your upper body, it becomes very inconsistent. Same thing, like using more upper body and typically the stronger individuals will be a little more inconsistent just because they can manipulate what their upper body is doing. It's not a bad thing, we just gotta be aware of what's going on with our bodies. It's the whole getting looser thing. We're gonna try to get you into a better position at the start so that you can get into a better position at the end. Typically all the lessons I do, I try to focus on two main things and leave them with that. Anything more, Jesse knows, he's a little more on the analytical side. I'm kind of the same way. If I get too many things going, I try to do them all at once and then it just it just ends up terrible because I'm thinking about too many things and I can't change them all at the same time. Let's modify your setup. Okay, so I'm always looking at the first two steps. Always looking at the first two steps. Always looking at the setup because if we don't have a good foundation at the beginning, we can't have a good foundation at the end. So just take your setup and don't go yet. Welcome to this public service announcement. We have been pacing pretty good to give away bowling balls just like this in 2023 if we hit 100,000 subscribers by December 31st, 2022. But we've been slowing down in recent times. Jess and I have crunched the numbers and we won't get there. So we need you to hit the red button if you want us to get there and potentially win one of these 100 bowling balls we're giving away next year. Hit the like button and hit subscribe. All right, so I want you to try to cradle it a little more and keep it a little closer to your body. If okay. you want, you can even cup your wrist a little more. Uh, it might be awkward. The first shot's gonna be really awkward, but if you can keep everything closer to you, more compact, it'll be easier to stay loose. Because okay. if you have the ball further away from you, you have to use more muscle yeah. to keep it where it is. So just go ahead and do that, and then I'll watch another shot and see how this feels. Okay. It's definitely a little different with the ball roll. How yeah. did it feel? Yeah, it felt weird coming off. It felt like I kind of threw my hand over the ball. So on this next one, I want you to do the same thing. Keep everything a little closer to you, but pull your elbow back a little bit so you can keep your angles open. Okay. Allow your shoulders to be open because if you're too far in front of yourself, you kind of lock yourself into a position yeah. and it makes it harder to open up. Okay. Especially being two-handed, you want to be able to open up your hips and your shoulders so you can allow the ball to go to the right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Right here? Yep. Okay. They kind of got the Chris Vi setup. Because uh -huh. he's you know, a pretty strong guy, so yeah. he's had to manage being a little more muscly than most players. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and throw another shot just like that. Okay. I'm going to look at your, I guess it would be first three steps. Same thing, shoulder back, keep the ball nice and tight to your body. So I do like that would technically be your, your push step. You open up your, your foot, your hips stay open. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I don't really want to change much if it's not hurting you directionally, but if you feel like you're having a hard time throwing it to the right, it could be because your, your leg is getting in the way you're swimming. Oh, so I'm not so, opening up on this So way. on this step, we always want to try to get this one in front of the left foot. So when you get to there, this is the timing step. It clears the way for the swing. Yeah, on your third right. step, just try to cross over a little more. Okay. Yeah, really good. I definitely felt that, yeah, that, that was opening up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so I would give it a couple more shots. Okay. Just try to keep that set up where it needs to be. I say every five shots normally you want to really overdo it because 
your body's slowly going to want to go back to what it's used to doing. Yeah. So you just got to keep it in check. Hey, this is what I want my body to do. Okay. Don't let... On the fifth one, maybe you just bring the ball as close as you can. Uh, keep your elbow back. Super exaggerate everything. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. That was good. Thank Moving on to the next thing that I want to see. I actually want you to feel like you're using less effort when you get to the line. I don't want you to feel like you're throwing it there. Okay. I want you to just try to keep your hand underneath the bowling ball as long as possible. Okay. Just let it roll off. Okay. Like kind of like kind of like a lifting motion with your fingers. So you're kind of getting to here and then. So stay underneath it as long as possible. Yep. Okay. That was kind of a quick fix. I like that. Yeah. So Chad's pretty pretty quick to pick up on whatever I'm telling him right now, and that's really good. Some people may take a few more shots and, and kind of really feel it out. I personally need some more shots to really do the things that I'm trying to, to visualize, but that was really good. That's okay. how you're really going to create more power, is okay. just keeping your hand under it as long as possible. And you won't have to use as much effort to create more power if you keep your hand underneath it okay. as long as possible. So the concept behind rev rate is how fast you can get out of the ball and how far underneath it you can, okay. or how much distance you can cover with the bowling ball. Mm. So the further underneath it you can get, and the faster you can go from here to here, the more rev rate you're going to have. Got it. The more power you're going to create, and the more shape you're going to be able to, to make down the lane. So it's all big advantage, and that'll help match up with your speed too, so you don't have to throw it slower. Let's do it. Let's try it again. Just try to keep it underneath as long as possible. It's always the first one when you get it. It's like, yeah. wow, and then the yeah. second one's just a little good. different. Ah. But that one was still good. It was still better than, than what it was before. So that's just something you really got to dial in and work yeah. on. You'll get better and better at it as you practice it. Obviously, you never want to throw shots for no reason because yeah. you never stay the same. You either get better or worse. Mm -hmm. If you're just doing the things that you normally do, you're just locking in those habits that you already have. So if you're not actively trying to change things, it's just going to be harder to change them in the future. All right, so the biggest changes we made with Chad's game is in his setup, we're trying to get the ball closer to his body to make it a little more effortless for him at the beginning of the approach. As you can see, his elbow's a lot further back than when he started prior. At the beginning, he was holding the ball out pretty far. The second thing we worked on was his third step, which would be the timing step, the crossover step, getting it a little more in front of his left foot so that he can clear the way for his, his swing. And the third thing that we covered today was trying to be a little more effortless in the upper body, getting into the right position. And in this case, it's focusing on getting his hand underneath it as much as possible before the point of release, like compressing the spring and then just decompressing, just letting it go. That's what bowling really is, is in the swing, is creating a straight swing, a loose swing, and then compressing as much as possible on the way down, and then unleashing all that power. As he can get to the bottom in the right positions, he's gonna create more by doing less, essentially. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys found this useful, hit that like button. Let us know in the comments below if you would be interested in challenging me and winning a lesson for yourself.